Don't get on a cruise ship. That's the warning from the State Department tonight. This comes as a number of cruise ships have been delayed from reaching land as officials scrambled to stop the spread of the virus. CBS 4's Kerry Kahn joins us live at Port Everglades tonight with what we need to know. Kerry. That's right, Elliot. That, in, that warning did indeed go out, but as we saw today, lots of people are still taking cruises here in South Florida. This cruise ship behind me at Port Everglades got in late last night. Passengers disembarked this morning. They were supposed to arrive yesterday. Fortunately, there are no known coronavirus cases on board this ship, but all this comes as the coronavirus concerns continue to batter the cruise ship industry. Passengers left the Regal Princess cruise ship Monday at Port Everglades a day later than expected. It was terrible. It, was, it really was terrible. Fortunately, there are no reported coronavirus cases on board. In Northern California, the Grand Princess finally docked in Oakland Monday after being denied entry in San Francisco and floating off the West Coast for several days. 21 people on board tested positive for coronavirus, 19 of them crew members. This is video taken by Broward County resident Michael Coleman, who's on board the ship with his wife, Kathy. He said they're surrounded by law enforcement boats. We feel like we're in prison. Coleman is a retired Broward Sheriff's Office sergeant. Fortunately, he and his wife are healthy, and they have spent six consecutive days confined to their cabin. We feel fine. We feel okay. We feel good. We're just depressed that we can't get off the boat. They want to get off their boat. Other cruise passengers in Miami can't wait to get on. Passengers loaded onto six cruise ships at Port Miami Monday. I have Neosporin in my nose. We got Clorox wipes. We're good. We're going to be healthy. This comes as the State Department issued a warning Sunday telling people, especially the elderly and those with pre existing health conditions, not to travel on cruises. Dr. Suzanne Doblecki Lewis is the clinical director at the University of Miami's Infectious Disease Division. Because of the close quarters, we've seen that cruise ships are a way that the virus can then disseminate to a lot of different geographic locations uh, once people get back home. In California, Michael Coleman and his wife can't wait to get back to Florida, but he says they'll likely be on the boat for several more days before being sent somewhere to be tested. We really feel we passed the incubation period already, but we still have to go to an Air Force base and be tested. Coleman and his wife tell me they are passing the time by playing cards, watching TV, and hoping that state and national leaders will work together to try to help everyone affected by the coronavirus. There's one more princess ship to talk about. The Caribbean princess remains outside or off the coast of Florida. Right now, there are two crew members who were transferred on board that ship from another ship that has a confirmed case of coronavirus. Those two crew members are in the process of being tested. Live at Port Everglades, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.